Hi, good morning guys. So we're at South Devon College this morning. We are going to stuff some chicken supremes with a sage and coriander mousse. Wrap it in bacon, sear it off, cook it for our lunch. Okay, so chicken supreme. So it's the breast of the chicken. What we're gonna do is we're gonna remove that sinew from the side there so that we're not cooking lots of fat in there. I'm just gonna trim it off. Just be careful with sharp knives. Anything on there that you don't like the look of, just trim off. Okay, so taking the fat end there, you're gonna take a little knife pop your hand on the top there, pushing it down slightly. And the blade of your knife is just gonna push straight down through the center. So it hasn't come out the other end, hasn't pierced the outside. And what you're gonna do is just cut a little pouch in there. So now we've got a little hole in our chicken supreme right, right through the middle, but it hasn't punctured the outside. So with our other chicken, we're gonna do much the same. Trim off any bits but we're gonna make a mousse out of this chicken breast. So we're gonna trim it down into cubes. So when you've cut your chicken into a nice rough cube there, that's when we're gonna take it over to our blender and blend it up and we're gonna make a mousse ready to pipe inside our chicken. Okay, so in our blender, we've put our chopped up chicken. So this is a coriander and sage pesto, which we're gonna put into our chicken mousse. Um, there's sage, coriander, parmesan cheese, um, pine nuts, garlic, and oil. Okay, that's all blended up in the blender to create this nice flavorsome green uh, dressing, which is gonna go into our mousse. It's gonna give it nice color, nice flavors. Um, nice little pinch of salt, just for seasoning. Lid on. And we're going to blend that for about a minute, just until it's nice and smooth. So into our mousse, we've blended our chicken and our pesto. We're going to add one egg white. So you're going to add that whilst it's going. When that's thoroughly mixed in, we're going to slowly add double cream. When the double cream goes in there, that is when it's going to create that mousse-like appearance. And that's what we get. So our mousse is ready to go into a piping bag, ready to go into our chicken. Okay, so we're gonna transfer the mousse into our piping bag. So we're gonna fold the piping bag down over our hands so that we don't get mess everywhere. With a spoon, just gonna pop it into our bag. I can smell that sage and that coriander coming through. It's lovely. So with the end of our piping bag, we're just gonna trim off a nice little nozzle. Gonna make sure we get rid of the blue plastic so it doesn't go into our food. Okay, so remember the hole we made in our chicken? Your nozzle of your piping bag into the end there and just pipe your mousse into your chicken. So it's contained within. It's not leaking out anywhere so that the, there's no holes in it. And then what we're gonna do, get a piece of bacon, just gonna stretch it out using the back of our knife. And then we're gonna wrap that around our chicken. Just give it a nice crispy appearance when we roast it off. So the next stage for our chicken this morning, we are going to seal it off in a pan we call it searing, sealing. So what it's doing is sealing the edges, keeping those moisture inside that chicken so it's nice and succulent when we eat it. So into our pan, we're gonna pop some oil. We're gonna get that nice and hot. And we're gonna place our chicken supreme face down away from us so it doesn't splash us. A little salt. and a little ground pepper. And we leave it there until it's got a little bit of color on it. And then we turn it over.
So what we're, what we're doing is we're sealing that chicken so everything that's inside stays in there nice and moist um, and we're going to roast that for 14 minutes at 180 degrees. Okay, so once your uh, chicken is cooked, the 40 minutes is up, nice and golden brown and roasted. Um, you're going to allow it to rest on the side for about a minute, a minute and a half, just to let that meat relax. And that it helps it to retain its moisture inside. Okay, so once your chicken is rested, uh, we're going to slice it. Just take a moment, just have a look at your chicken, where that moose that we piped in and is sitting. And we're going to slice across that to expose the nice green mousse. So just putting your knife on the top, letting the knife do the cutting so we're not tearing the chicken apart. And that exposes that nice green chicken mousse that we created inside there. So what we're gonna do, it's gonna pop a little bit of tomato sauce that we made earlier into the bottom of our bowl. So it's nice and clean, no splatters around the edge. So it's really presented nicely. And then we're just gonna lay our chicken onto the top. And we're gonna do that so that we can see the green mousse facing up for our customer. Just take your time just to present it, present it nicely. Uh, we're gonna try a little bit of micro herb. So we've got some red aram amaranth. It's a bit of a mouthful and we just randomly scatter that over the top just to enhance the image. And a nice little bit of fresh basil on the top just to finish it. And there's our complete dish. So that's our complete dish. That is our chicken supreme stuffed with a coriander and sage pesto mousse wrapped in bacon. This is a similar dish to what we serve in Horizons restaurant from Mondays to Fridays, open to the public. Come and give us a try.